Hello everyone and welcome to another Cooking with Linux video. This is Marcel and uh, just, you know, just because I never do that, I stuck the little webcam down at the bottom. So if you see my head occasionally do stuff like this or, you know, or, you know, suddenly there's different parts of my body that you see and don't see. It's because I'm using a little webcam that's in the, um, what do you call this thing, this computer in front of me. And, um, and uh, I may never do this again. <laughs> We'll see how this works out, okay? All right, all right. And the other weird thing, of course, is, you know, then, you know, you get to look at me. Like, right now, I'm looking into the camera, and you'll probably actually be seeing me, you know, looking down most of the time as I'm sitting here trying to do stuff like this. So maybe this isn't really the best way to do things, you know? All right. Maybe I could start the videos like this, and then I could just stop it somewhere along the way, like here. And then suddenly I'm back just like that and you don't get to have a look at the little camera at the bottom anymore. Okay, all right, this is what we're going to do then. Today on Cooking with Linux, I want to show you uh, another interesting little free software program, um, not program, project in this case. And uh, I, I'd, I'd want to say that it's a Linux distribution, but it really isn't. It's kind of this little weird sort of free operating system which started to me almost like a joke like you know many many years ago and now late and now you know it's actually starting to come into itself in a way you remember there used to be an operating system called windows uh, i i used to make jokes about the very first version of windows that was any good was something called windows 95 well anyway this started out as a way to make a free version of windows 95 now as a template i'm going to use linux 2.6 here just because you know it's a free software implementation oh back back and what we're going to work with is something called react os react os um, I, interestingly enough, I actually did a, um, I actually, uh, did a, an article once and I, I can't remember, maybe it might've been for Linux journal or something like that, where I, I did a, an April fool's post where Microsoft was getting upset about react OS and, uh, had decided that they would buy them out, you know, to, to, to basically erase the competition. It's amazing how many people went for it. Anyway, user mode, network card, press the finish button. Now there are a couple of things I'm going to change here just for the heck of it, because I don't really know how well this is going to work out. I'm going to change you know to an old uh, rtl 8139 uh, network card so i'll say that i'll say apply uh for my virtual machine i'm going to say graphics just std v vga because you know windows 95 and uh, i'm gonna give it two gig of ram two gig of ram because if you take a look over on the left hand side of my screen at the top where that lovely little penguin is staring out at you under the wednesday 17th of january <sighs> <sighs> which also tells you when I'm making this video, by the way, um, you'll see, you'll see that I've got like, uh, you know, lots of memory, like 12 gig of RAM. So I can afford to throw a couple of gig at this little mochine here. All right. Uh, what else? What else? Sound Blaster 16. Nah, we'll just go with the AC 97. We'll leave things as they are. Does that look good? That looks good. Yeah. Okay. I'll apply here. Now we go to media, to media over on media. I'm going to click the little CD-ROM and I'm going to attach an ISO file. I see I have a folder called ISOs here. And uh, this one is for React OS. Now, there are two of them here. There's a live version and there is a not live, <laughs> not live version and an install version. I actually ran the live version, which has a, a button that uh, says, you know, you can install it from there, but it doesn't work. So, you know, so if you actually do want to install it and I'm going to, I'm going to go through the installation process here because it's fun. Uh, you use this one. Okay. All right. This is what you do. Uh, so we use that one. I say, okay. And, uh, the last thing that we have to do is make sure that yes, we are booting from the CD-ROM drive. Okay. Apply. And you notice I made it like an eight gig drive. So it's not like a, you know, monstrous thing. So apply. Are you ready for this? Are you sitting on the edge of your seat? Hey, okay, I know, I'm, I, I could have sung that, but I might have gotten in trouble. So I'm not going to sing it. But anyway, let's click that run button, shall we? All right, start. And uh, I'm going to drag this over here. And it's minus five outside. Holy cow, man, we have winter around here. It sucks sometimes, you know. Anyway, there we go. A little bit bigger because, you know, now you can see this thing. English United States, just because, you know, because I speak English, but... We're awfully close to the States here, but there you go. In Canada, or Canadakia, or here we go. Anyway, enter to install React OS. Is this looking familiar? Okay, if you've ever installed Windows at any point in your life, you have got to tell me that this looks awfully similar. All right, accept these device settings. Sure, why not? Here we go. Are you ready? Unpartitioned space. A gig format partition as fat file system. A quick format. Sure, why not? Let's do this. 
Here we go. Format partition setup will now format the partition. Press enter to continue. Oh, I'm so excited. I don't know if I can push enter. I bet I'm going to anyway. Here we go. Okay, setup installs ReactOS files into the selected partition. Cool, all right. Boy, that was a fast format. Setup is copying files. See, this has got to look familiar if you've done this before. It's got to look familiar. Seriously. All right, setup is updating. Install bootloader on hard disk MBR and VBR. Basic components are all done, blah, blah, blah. Enter to reboot. Flushing cache, ReactOS. Let's hit the button. I mean, we could have just, you know, waited, but I don't have a lot of patience. Anyway, here we go, ReactOS. It's booting up. It's booting up. Installing devices. Now you notice the mouse isn't working inside here. That's because I have to click inside the window. There we go. Now the mouse has been captured by the by the uh, the emulator, the KVM emulator. Click continue to continue with click next. <laughs> Not click continue to go next, but click next to continue with setup. Let's click next. It lists all the wonderful packages that they have used. You know the developers have used. They wish to acknowledge. You can view the GPL if you like. It's lovely reading. You should spend some time doing it if you have never ever read the GPL. You should do so. Anyway, okay. Next, next. And uh, change system settings. Now we're not going to do any of that. Next. Owner, name, me, myself, I. There we go. Organization, not even remotely. There we go. Not even remotely. Next. Computer name, React OS. Oh, I have no idea what 069BG8F is, but it sounds pretty good to me. Administrator password, S-E-C-R-E-T. And uh, confirm password, S-E-C-R-E-T. My password is now secret. Next, uh, I am in the not Pacific time zone. I'm in the uh, not central either. Oh, there we go. Eastern US and Canada, because I'm in the Eastern time zone. Next, there are two. Oh, look at that, look at that. We can have a, a gray theme or we can have the classic Windowsy theme. But since we're doing a classic Windowsy incarnation or implementation or however you want to look at that, let's click next. And typical settings, sure, why not? Work group, psh, the, this computer will be part of a work group. Sure, why not? Why not? Next, some install registering components, completing the ReactOS setup wizard. You have successfully completed ReactOS setup. Give yourself a pat on the back. When you finish, your computer will restart. <sighs> can I just click finish? Okay, I can just click finish. Or we can watch this blue bar go by. Oh, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. I don't want to interrupt it because it is just... It is so nice. Uh, oh, oh, that was good. That Was that good for you too? Oh, man. React OS, here we go. Loading boot drivers. Uh, copyright 1996 to 2017. They've been at this a while. And look, look, what does that look like to you? Let's click the start button and uh, install drivers automatically. You know what? It, it doesn't work. I tried it because it doesn't know what the driver is for this thing. So I'll say finish, finish, finish. Because, you know, it's running inside a virtual machine. So we'll just ignore that. But let's click the start button. Look at this. Look at this. Does this look familiar? Programs, accessories, access, you know, the, uh, c communication, remote desktop connection, system tools. What do we got for system tools here? Uh, character map. Uh, character map. Oh, there you go. We got a nice character map. Let's put that up in the corner there. And, of course, the real reason that people had Windows 95 in the first place, let's be perfectly honest here, is Solitaire. This is why people installed Windows 95 on their computers. So they could run so they could run Solitaire. Uh, let me see. Let's play this for a minute here. Uh, then Black 9 goes on the red 10. We flip this card over. The Black uh, 3 goes on the red 4. We flip that one over. Uh, red 8. Um, uh, flip that one over. The red 2. Uh, that's enough of that. That's enough of that. You guys know how this works, right? You all know. Everybody's played Solitaire. And, of course, because, you know, it's Windows that... If Windows 95 did come with two very exciting games. One of them, of course, was Mind Slayer. No, Mind <laughs> Mind Slayer. <laughs> Mind Slayer sounds a lot cooler than Mind Sweeper, doesn't it? It's like, you know, a Buffy Mind Sweeper crossover. You know, Buffy the Vampire Slayer. Come on, you must know what Buffy the Vampire Slayer is. All right. Okay, so there you go. So so it's like it's like it just it's cool. It kind of works. Um, do we have a web browser on this thing? Is there a web browser on this thing? Uh, accessories. Uh, give me give, magnify on screen keyboard entertainment system tools. Uh, calculator command prompt. Uh, what? No. Uh, there's there's no did I system configuration device manager. Hmm. Oh wait a minute. 
sounds interesting system configuration let's click system configuration anything interesting services anything uh, background intelligent transfer stopped audio service nfs uh, activate all here i'll just close that it's obviously not what i'm looking for what else is there here uh what else is there um uh, hmm, hmm. what else is there settings uh network connections network connections network connection uh support default gateway okay um hmm 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 all right whoops whoops that's not what i wanted to do there let's just uh we'll minimize that uh we, we can here here well, there we go see minesweeper um oh he blows it right off the bat that did not take long. oh applications manager that sounds interesting uh application database downloading wine gecko those are the installed applications not a lot of them audio oh oh look there's stuff here audacity audacity how do we install audacity let's install audacity uh choose a category to choose an application install hmm then choose an application to install or uninstall. Okay, uh, install. Let's install. The Audacity downloading. Oh, the sound. This looks promising. This looks promising. This definitely looks promising. I guess this is where we're going to find ourselves a web browser too. Uh, okay. Oh, there's the setup. All right, Audacity setup. This is actually pretty cool. This is actually pretty cool. Yes, Audacity is free software. I love it. I do. Next, create a desktop icon. Sure, why not? Install. I, I, this is cool. I am fairly impressed. All right, let's take this a little bit further here. Because, of course, as I said, we need a web browser. Launch Audacity. No, don't launch it right now. Uh, oh, what, what the heck? Let's launch it. Let's have a look at it when it starts up. Audacity. How to run and do Audacity stuff. There it is. It's all there. It's beautiful. There's the envelope tool, uh, you know, uh, the uh, draw tool. It's, it's, it's all there. It's all beautiful. Let me close that up. Uh, let's go over to Internet and Network. Uh, Hiawatha, an open source web server. Well, oh, that's interesting. Composer, web authoring. Oh, I remember that. Man, that was a long time ago. Uh, Firefox 48. I guess this is as recent as it gets to run under this implementation. So right click, install. I am impressed. This is pretty cool. Wow, this thing has come a long way. I have to say, I tried this like years ago and uh, we were nowhere near this. Nowhere near this at all. This might actually be approaching functional. Wow. Okay. Extracting. We're going to have Firefox up and running shortly. So we're going to have like real applications on this thing. Um, there we go. Uh, standard. Yep. Take it as it is. Install. Let's do this. Install Firefox. And uh, no, let's, well, no, let's not launch Firefox. Let's just say finish. And let's take a look. We'll do one more thing. We'll do edutainment. Ed oh, games and fun. There we go. The classic hover CT uh, pocket tanks. Pingus. Pingus. Yes, Pingus is cool. Rocks and diamonds. I like that as well. You know, it's it's not like a huge number of games, but it's kind of fun. Oh, 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 st get out. Steam. Steam. Seriously. Holy cow. Wow. Okay. Uh, let's just do uh, Pingus and uh, we will stop there. Install. There we go. Pingus downloading. Pingus 0.7.6 exe. This is not bad at all. I'm fairly impressed. Next. I agree. Of course I agree. Don't be ridiculous. Pingus. Show details. Nah, don't show me the details. Just let me see it as it is. And finish. Pingus. Pingus, it's, uh, there we go, Pingus, Pingus, uh, full screen me that, there we go, story, the story of Pingus, for a long time the Pingus have lived happily in peace on the South Pole, along with all the other animals, everything was in balance, and it seemed like nothing could disrupt their peace, the Pingus were happy, and it seemed like this could never end. You knew that it would end, right? But then one day things began to change slowly. The sky got darker and the earth got warmer. Firstly, firstly, they thought this was just a normal fluctuation in the world's climate, but things seemed to get worse and worse with every year. 
The snow began to melt away in a few areas, and food became an issue. Other animals tried to leave the region to search for colder areas, but the Pingus knew that this wouldn't help. They knew that they had to do something about it. Clever little penguins. So the circle of the eldest came together to decide what to do about it. They decided to send out an expedition around the world to find the cause of this warming. The expedition consisted of hundreds of the bravest pingus on the South Pole. Wow, that's quite the introduction story. And they picked you to lead them on their journey around the world. That's you, by the way, the generic you playing. Since the journey will be dangerous and difficult, your first goal is to the island of Magarok, also known as Tutorial Island. According to the eldest, this island has always been the first step the Pingus were sent out into the world. The island consists of many areas that are ideal to teach the Pingus their abilities. The Pingus can learn to build bridges, climb, bash, and use many other talents which they will need on their long and dangerous journey. Wow, this just keeps going. While there, you can practice your abilities in commanding and guiding the Pingus. You can also get familiar with all the abilities the Pingus provide and learn to master them since you will need all of them on your journey around the world. All right. Okay. All right. You know, we get the idea. I get the idea. I get the idea. Pingus. Cool. Nice. All right. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I probably Christmas bound uh, frozen uh, a game similar to frozen something or other. Uh, to frozen fruits. I don't even know what that is. Anyway, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. There we go. Office tools. What useful office tools we get? Abbey Word. Uh, LibreOffice. We can install LibreOffice. Version 5.1.1.3. I'm going to have to take a look and see just how far down the list we are on that. But there we go. LibreOffice. So this is actually usable. This is actually workable. You could actually use this as a real desktop operating system, it looks like. So let's close some of these things here. Let's uh, close Solitaire, even though that is really what people did with uh, Windows 95 in the early days, played Solitaire. Uh, network connections, we can close that up because obviously the whole network thing is working perfectly because we're installing software. Pingus, close Pingus, close Pingus. There we go, close Pingus. And uh, um, LibreOffice is obviously a big, a big package, as you know, uh, which is our word processor, uh, spreadsheet application, presentation graphics, all in one. Um, I have to say that I am relatively impressed. This thing has come a long way, and um, and uh, I had doubts that it would work quite as well as it does. But there it is. Um, kudos to the uh, to the people who are the React OS. Uh, developers out there. I will put the link to React OS in the show notes if you want to download your own version of the um, of the system. And um, and uh, there we go, games, Pingus, um, and uh, you can give it a shot yourself. Oh, let's let's fire up Firefox because of course that was one of the other things that uh, uh, do not import anything. We do not care. Do not import anything. All right. Hey, listen. I'm going to leave it at that. Almost. I'm going to leave it all that at most because I'm going to do this youtube.com slash free thinker if I can type properly at large all right youtube.com free thinker at large that is my youtube channel Please, if you like what I'm doing here, if you'd like me to do something else, if there are other things you'd like me to cover, please let me know. Um, and um, and uh, I will, you know, I will do my best to do some, um, you know, to do stuff that is useful for you. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you share the videos. Tell your friends, your neighbors, your enemies, your pets, your dog, your cat, your fish, your hamster. But share it. Share it far and wide. Subscribe and tell other people to subscribe. And um, oh, skip the ad. There we go. Skip the ad. There we go. We got, there we go. Help make the world a better place. Advance science. Cure cancer. Find aliens. It's cooking with Linux. I, we can even play YouTube videos on this thing. I'm impressed. I really am. Anyway, I can leave it there for today. Marcel, out. You guys take care out there. <laughs>